Alright, hello everybody. So I'm going to talk about the topic hooked onto television. This is how the world is today. So usually everybody's hooked up on television and they spend a lot of the spare time binge watching shows or checking out something that's going on. And um, this definitely has led to waste, waste in a cognitive slurpus. So cognitive slurpus, this term means it's a way to, of it's a way in which people dedicate their free time to having good discussions and engaging themselves in something very productive. So what's happened a lot of the time is um, as people have a lot of free time, they get very lazy and they you know, tend to watch a lot of TVs, binge watch, sometimes gain weight because of this. And this is something that you definitely want to avoid. So the whole point of cognitive slurping sur surplus is to engage or do something that's actually productive in your free time. So something that happens a lot today, people are always on their phones and they're not interacting together. Even sometimes when you're like doing something outside, like I've noticed sometimes you know, outdoor activity, you know, people are sometimes on their phones and engaged or they're checking out, you know, what's going on on their phone, like I mentioned. Um, and this is definitely something that shouldn't be happening. It leads to time wastage and it's just overall not very productive. So it, it is okay to have these kind of habits, but you should definitely avoid them because it just kind of further further damages your relationship with others in some sort of way. Um, it And sometimes it could really, it's very uh, inappropriate and it's not very respectful when you do that. Or when you're not being, when you're not, um, when you're being distracted by something else in an environment in which you're supposed to be with everyone so for example if somebody were to go out to eat food um and they're on their phone the whole time you know that's not very respectful especially with a different person there so just like i mentioned you know when going out doing outdoor, outdoor activities it's okay to have your phones on you but it's important not to get distracted so much to the point where you're not spending time with the people you're with um because that that goes against the term that i just mentioned cognitive slur surplus so um like I mentioned, one thing you can do is just whenever the time, whenever you have like your spare time by yourself, it's okay to do that. Those kind of things occasionally, um, like watch shows or play video games or just do anything crazy on the internet. But I think it's important not to constantly waste your time on that um, when you should be prior prioritizing your free time productively. Um, so. For example, like I mentioned, if you're going out for some vacation or you're going bowling or something, you know, you shouldn't be on your phone all the time because that definitely goes against the, it goes against what you're doing because the whole point of you going out like that is so you spend time with others, not be distracted by your phone. So I think the goal we should definitely aim for is to have a, a boundary or a balance for both. So you shouldn't be constantly spending time and being on your phone or doing something unproductive. Um, but at the same time, you want to have an equal balance. So you can bring your phone, maybe video games to some place, but it's important to have a time where you're engaged in some other activity. And then the other time can be for watching TV or shows. And um, I think that that's a way to get a good balance of everything. Um, and yeah, I think if you, if you uh, strive for this goal, it'll definitely help create a good balance. Um, and, um, yeah, that's it. Again, this is topic hooked on television phones, and this is what the world is today.